Alright, let me show you how we can fix battery drain issue on your Redmi 14C. And first of all, we are starting from location services. So open settings and scroll all the way down. Go for location and here go into the location services. Now open the Wi-Fi scanning, turn it off and do the same for the Bluetooth scanning. Next, if you are not using location, like let's say you are sitting in your home, you are not going to go outside, then you can simply turn it off because it actually drains battery a lot. So remember about all of these basics. Now, uh, when we do this, we can we have to also disable usage and diagnostics. So we have to go right here and input this phrase usage and diagnostic. And as you can see, it's uh, just right here. So we have to open it, click on the usage and diagnostics and simply turn it off. Next, it will be also useful to turn off this memory extension. So from the four gigs, just simply switch to the off, click to reboot and it will be done. Now uh, we have to go for accessibility and the additional settings. Then uh, we have to go for vision, I believe. Yeah, and select this one to remove animations. Now everything will actually op open and close faster without all of these animations. Next, we have to also go for a Google section, then click on the all services and select devices and switch off this one to scan for NERBY devices. Then we can also don't wake screen for uh, notifications. So input this, wake screen for there we go. Wake lock screen for notifications and switch to don't do this. Next, we can also turn off the background automatic start. So go here and input this phrase back go around. Go right here. And now unselect every application that can start in the background. Just simply turn all of them. Now, what you have to do is just to go for user experience program. So go into the search bar and input this phrase user experience. No, it's not here. It's this one user experience program. Wait for the loading. Okay, it's not this one. Uh, we have to go for enroll in user experience program and we have to actually switch this off by clicking on this switcher. So uh, when you did it, we have to also remove animated wallpaper. If you have animated wallpaper or live wallpaper, then simply get the stock one. And uh, also we have to turn off the touch vibration. So we have to go for the settings, go into the sound and vibration and we have to go for vibrations and select vibrate on top and turn them off next move to the display and the brightness and switch off from the 120 hertz and force for 60. now also we have to be sure that you control the brightness level so you don't need to get 100 percent all the time sometimes you can actually lower the resolution i mean the brightness to save your battery or we can for example use automatic brightness mm, that's your choice and also it will be very useful when you turn on the dark mode by clicking on the switcher and you can even adjust you know this screen timeout that we have to go back and go to the lock screen and try to reduce if you often forget to turn off your screen and it stays for like 10 or 5 minutes without uh, usage then it will drain battery so go for 15 seconds or for example 30 seconds it will uh, definitely increase the battery life and we have to also remove the wallpaper carousel simply turn it off mm, when you did it uh, we have to also go into this home screen mode and we have to be sure that we switch off this google screen so when you click and hold right here go into the settings and go for more 
we can find minus one screen and be sure that you switch for none. And when we are here, we have to also disable notifications from unused apps. So go to the settings, open a notification and status bar, and now open all apps. So go here, and it's actually sorted by time received. Uh, we can also sort by number of notifications and if there's like any application that you are not using but the application is still sending you notifications then you can simply click on the switcher to turn them off we have to also go back and move for more connectivity be sure that you switch off the quick share by clicking on the switcher also go for the printing and switch off the system print service and me home of course if you are not using these features and uh, when you are here uh, we have to also go into the bluetooth so as you can see right now i'm not connected with the bluetooth so if you are not using bluetooth just simply switch this off because it's draining your battery and it looks the same with your mobile data and the Wi-Fi. So if you are in your home, you don't need to get the, the mobile data turned on. So be sure that you simply unselect them. And the same with the uh, Wi-Fi. If you are outside and you are only connected with your mobile network, then switch off the Wi-Fi by clicking here. And the last thing, you have to change the screen timeout. So it will be located in the lock screen, I believe. By the way, I was just talking about this one, Never mind. So uh, the last thing that you can actually do is just to keep your system up to date. So basically be sure that you are running for the latest software because it actually fixed a lot of uh, features. And uh, yeah, that will be all. Thanks for watching.